Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Whitney and I'm a spiritual coach, counselor, and consultant. My channel is about reconnecting to who you are. As you grow through life, you have a choice to stay where you are or decide to grow and learn more about yourself, your community, and the world around you. I believe holistic living is a spiritual journey and I'm here to teach you what I know. Let's get into today, to today's session. Opening to love and compassion, heart chakra. Welcome to the fourth session in our series on seven chakras. In this session, we will be exploring the heart chakra, also known as Anahata. The heart chakra is located in the center of the chest and is associated with the color green. This chakra is all about love, compassion, and connection. When balanced, we feel open and loving towards ourselves and others. When out of balance, we may experience feelings of resentment, jealousy, or heartache. Think of the heart chakra as a flower in bloom. Just as a flower needs water and sunlight to bloom, the heart chakra needs love and compassion to flourish. When the flower is in bloom, it radiates beauty positive, and positivity. <laughs> when the heart chakra is balanced, we radiate love and positivity toward ourselves and others. So how do we balance and strengthen the heart chakra? One of the best ways is through gratitude and forgiveness. Practicing gratitude for the people and things in our lives can help to open the heart chakra and balance the body and bring balance to the body. Additionally, practicing forgiveness, whether it's for ourselves or others, can help to release negative emotions and open the heart chakra. Another way to balance the heart chakra is performing acts of kindness. Whether it's volunteering, helping a neighbor, or simply holding a door for someone, small acts of kindness can help to open the heart chakra and bring a sense of connection and compassion. In summary, the heart chakra is all about opening to love and compassion. When balanced, we feel open and loving towards ourselves and others. When out of balance, remember, we may experience resentment, jealousy, or heartache. Gratitude, forgiveness, and acts of kindness are all ways to balance and strengthen the heart chakra. For myself personally, when it came to the heart chakra, it was a lot of grief work because the gremlin of the heart chakra is grief. Grief is always around us. Grief is the loss of a job, the loss of a loved one, a pet. Grief can be the loss of a relationship. It can be the loss of um, maybe like a physical thing. Maybe you had a certain locket or earring that was, was special to your family and you lost it. We experience grief all the time. A lot of times we don't, I've noticed that we usually suppress the grief that's going on, the feelings that's associated with grief. Or if we grieve, it's usually a lot of sorrow and not necessarily celebrating. Because although this is, it can be a gremlin, <laughs> it can also be a beauty, a beautiful thing to celebrate um, the loss, to celebrate the lesson in the loss, to um, sell, if it's a person, to celebrate what you learned, uh, what was so special about them. If it, Even if it was a job, same thing to celebrate what you learn through that journey so that you don't have to repeat that pattern, which has to do with the um, brow chakra, but it's all about your perspective on how you see things. Not all losses are right, are there to like break you down and crumble and make you want to crumble to the ground. Some of them are for good. So be open to um, grief, be open to practicing gratitude. Whenever I was on my journey, my uh, deep dive in my health journey and connecting, getting my connection with myself and food, which was at that time, like now looking back, that was definitely a root chakra experience, which also hit the other chakras, but definitely a root chakra for me. Um, when I went through that journey, I practiced gratitude daily. I was connected with some ladies and we sent our gratitudes to each other daily. So for that year um, and a little bit over that, I sent my gratitudes. And every morning I got up, either I sent it to them or I wrote it down in my book, but it definitely was a great way to start my day. And it felt good because it made me think about all the things around me that I probably wouldn't have been grateful for just because I'm so used to having them. But I actually got specific in what I was grateful for. And it helped me as I was processing some of the pain from releasing some of the um, some of the emotion that came along with my connection to food. So just know that as you are exploring and going through each chakra, to me, is it was just a grief process throughout. There was celebration, there were sad times. I felt my heart expanding. It felt good to no longer have to be caged in um, that I was allowed to be free and be free to express my gratitude. Yes, kindness 
and not have to feel resentment. Healing is freedom. At least for me, it is. All right. So if you are enjoying the series, make sure that you click the link below to grab my chakra reference sheet and to get on the email list so you'll know the next time that I post a video. So in our next session, we will explore the throat chakra and how it relates to finding our voice and speaking our truth. All right. Till then, I'll talk to you soon. Take care of yourself. Peace.